Welcome to our PFF Weekly Injury Update with Dr. Stephen Pomerantz of MRI Online. And Dr. Pomerantz, we have to start with Chicago Bears quarterback Mitchell Trubisky. He played all of six plays in Sunday's game in week four and then left the field with a left shoulder injury. What more can you tell us about the injury? Well, you can see that his, fortunately, his non-throwing arm uh, gets extended. And I shouldn't say fortunately, but his non-throwing arm gets extended. And you can almost see the the top of his humerus bone, which is the ball that fits in the shoulder socket, kind of come down. So he had a shoulder dislocation, or at least a very severe subluxation on that side. Now, most of the time, those things either pop right back in or when they get to the sideline, they pop them back in. And they're pretty functional. You know, if you put them in a harness, uh, they can do pretty well. I've seen players actually play wide receiver uh, with one arm that has been previously dislocated. So I anticipate that Mitchell Trubisky will have some kind of harness in place that gives him mobility with his lower lower arm and hand and that he will play uh, since his throwing arm is preserved and has not been injured. And for our fantasy members, what do you think the timetable is for his return? I think he'll be back if uh, if they've got a game this Sunday uh, or Monday, then I think he will play. Wow, that, that's really good for Chicago Bear fans. And let's move on to Detroit, where uh, in week four, Detroit Lions tight end TJ Hawkinson attempted to hurdle a defender and came down in a way where he sustained an injury. Um, just got to help us to understand, if you're advising football players from a player safety perspective, how would you advise football players when it comes to hurdling defenders and leaving the ground on a football field? Well, you know, everything in life, Sally, is, uh, is a cost-benefit thing, you know, and, and the benefit of leaping and going forward, I'm, I'm not uh, prepared or an expert to answer that from the sports performance uh, standpoint, but you're asking me as a clinician and as a, as a medical doctor, I do know that there is a certain level or height where injuries to the head or injuries to even the spine when you fall get more severe. And that number that's often quoted is over 10 feet, 11 or 12 feet. So when you are hurdling somebody, especially your head, you, you know, your head is already uh, six or six and a half feet if you're six foot five off the ground. Then you hurdle, so you jump, so you add three feet to that. You know, some people can get up pretty high. So now you're at nine, nine and a half feet, and then you're lifted up a little bit by the individual that is tackling you, so now you're above 10 feet. So you now automatically increase your risk of a more serious spine or brain insult by performing that maneuver. So from a medical standpoint, I would strongly advise against it. Well, we want to thank you because every time we talk to you, we feel safer and we feel more informed as well. We want to do something uh, about keeping players more safe, particularly when it comes to hurdling defenders on a football field. Dr. Pomerantz, we want to thank you for joining us for our weekly injury update. That is Dr. Pomerantz with MRI Online.